So here's the Sony FS5. And you launched this right here at IBC? Yes, we uh, launched it yesterday, so today is Saturday, and we launched it for the first time at the press release at Friday. <coughs> so this um, FS5 PXW SS5 is a little brother for the FS7 that is, uh, got announced last year, and we've already in Europe delivered over 5,000 euro units of the FS7. So this is hopefully going to be a very popular secondary camera, so we can do 4K and HD, but in HD we can do very cool high speed, so it's different from 100, 200, 400, or 800 in high, frames per second. In high 800 speed. frames per second? 800 frames per second. At which resolution? So what we do, when we go over 240 frames per second, we start doing some line skipping between the, uh, the, the, between the on the sensor, and that, you know, decreases the resolution. So we'll be just about 720p when we do, At 800 six, frames when per we do the 800 frames per second. And so what, is it 60p 4K? No, it's not. So you need the FS7 yeah. if you want to do 60p. Okay. This can do 30p or 24 or 25p uh, in, in 4K. So the the color sampling is a bit different. So we have a 420 8-bit when recording 4K. And of course the FS7 can do 422 10-bit. So it is a better camera and is a, that's also why we have the price difference. So is it cheaper? How this much one is cheaper, yes. How much is it going to be? So it's going to, it's going to be, uh, this price is uh, 5,800 euro. So the 5,800 uh, 5, is with, uh, with, the, uh, with the camera just as a body. You get the viewfinder, of course, and the handle. But if you want to have a kit with a lens, then it's 6,300 euros. This Not price. this lens? Not this size, no. no. We'll sell Sony lens. All right. So, um, so no, do you want to talk? I can, yeah. I can mention some of the benefits. So, yeah. uh, the benefits with this camera is it's very light, it's very small. It uses SD cards instead of XQD cards, so that the, even the media is cheaper. Yeah. Um, the sensor is so is still the same size. It's the same sensor as the FS7, but we changed the, the filter wheel system. So we don't have a filter wheel that we normally have on the other cameras. What we have here is an LCD that goes in front of the uh, sensor, and then we add power to the LCD. As the more power we add to the LCD, the less light comes in. So this is a variable ND filter, and we can either do some presets, which we already know between one, two, uh, sorry, with one, two, three, I will have a clear. But if we have a variable ND filter, then we can actually go in and then change the filter setup as we as we have it, as we know it. So this this can be done as a smooth transition between when we're going outside to inside and vice versa. So it's a cool way of actually keeping a smooth and it's really continuous uh, film rolling. All right. So the market for this is, uh, who's gonna buy this? This would be definitely for independent freelancers, for corporate productions that don't need to have the full 4K uh, color uh, with, uh, with the maximum color grading as you can with the FS5. So there's a lot of uh, independent corporate uh, <laughs> How big is the sensor? Uh, so it's, it's, it's the same sensor as the FS7, so it's a Super 35 e mount based, so the same lenses as we have on our Alpha 7 series, but also on the FS7. The good thing about the E-mount is that it's uh, versatile, it's, it's back, the range back is only uh, 18 millimeters. So for example on a PL lens like this, this is based on PL, well the flange back is 53 millimeters and that means it's very easy to actually make an adapter to change between, between the lenses. So it, it almost any lens that's out there that fits Super, far, super 35 or, or larger will be able to fit on this lens with the What is this? This uh, Odyssey has so been so kind to lend us one of uh, their external uh, recorders. So this is a monitor and an internal recorder. And with the HDMI or SD, uh, HD SDI signal, we can actually start recording higher quality video. How many audio inputs? As of this moment, we have uh, two external channels of audio. So we have 
the top channel, we have a one, channel 1 up here and channel 2 down here. So just like the F7, we have two ch XLR channels of input, but we also have the unique MI shoe. So the MI shoe will support also two channels. Right now we're figuring out if it's possible to do all four channels at the same time. This is not... So there could be firmware updates? There, there, there could be a firmware update. What's going on over here? So, over here we have changed the original handle that you buy and changed it out with a standard area reset. So if you already have some area reset parts, these handles for example, well these could go directly over to this camcorder as well. If you know the arm for the FS7, because it has the same connection, uh, we'll be able to use the same arm from the FS7 and put it on this camera. All right, and there's a kit for 6,300 6, euro. This is the kit lens that comes with it. Yes, and it's f uh, 418 to 105 uh, millimeters. And it's got a built-in zoom motor, so you can actually do some zoom trips. Uh, nice and smooth inside the camera. The handle you can actually start doing some I have seen that originally. And uh, here it's set up on a system right here. Yes, it'll be very helpful uh, to actually set us uh, so I need to, to know this that. unit. So we, what we can we can do some tracking the hand, and start the sensor is uh, fourteen stops. Get it to work. So for me that that is a bit tricky because I'm not totally sure. And then uh, that the native uh, I guess we have to edit that yeah. is more than eight hundred because eight hundred is the native ISO and the seven. So I could imagine that.